Before starting any project or work, one needs to plan how to go about it. Sometimes the situation becomes very intricate and you need to think like a pro to resolve the issue at hand. But it's always most satisfying that you conceive a great idea and put it into practice, and the happiness you feel is extraordinary when you achieve the desired results. However, it's no secret that some pretty unconventional ideas that are seemingly reckless and downright crazy still work and lead to the accomplishment of the task. Today, let's discuss certain crazy ideas which actually led to success and left people baffled. But before we begin, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Musical Madness Violation of laid down speed limits by enthusiastic motorists is the problem faced by law enforcement authorities all over the world. In 2014, the New Mexico Department of Transportation conceived a unique solution to this problem. They collaborated with National Geographic to create a sound-based solution as the specific strip on Route 33 was modified so that any motorist driving across it is treated to a rendition of the patriotic US classic America the Beautiful. This mysterious music is played only when the motorist drives at the exact speed limit. Special grooves called rumble strips have been installed along the road at different intervals. Being driven over, these grooves cause cars to vibrate at specific frequencies and generate audible tones. Interestingly, the song becomes recognizable only when the car is driven precisely at the speed of 45 miles per hour. It encourages motorists to abide by the speed limit. Pet Rock People are inclined to keep pets like cats, dogs and even horses if they can afford to, but it's quite strange to assume that a rock is your pet. In 1975, Gary Dahl, a freelance copywriter, commented jokingly and advised his friend to keep a rock for a pet. Dahl put the idea into practice and a few days later he purchased a load of smooth rocks. He drafted a 32-page manual covering elaborate instructions for keeping rocks as pets. The box containing the rock had ventilation holes punched along the top, whereas the rock was seated on a bed of straw. He displayed the rock for Christmas and it got an unprecedented response as it cost just $4 per piece. By the end of February 1976, over a million pieces had been sold and Dahl became a millionaire overnight. Frying Flyers In 2019, in Chile, thousands of protesters came out against inequality. They carried laser pointers for an ingenious reason. Local police deployed drones to assess the situation and prepare for appropriate response. The protesters thought to focus the light of laser pointers on one drone at a time to deny it proper visibility. Surprisingly, the laser pointers did the intended job as 40 to 50 pointers were aimed at one police drone and caused it to crash onto the ground. It probably happened either because of damage caused to the plastic body of the drone due to heat produced by the concentrated dose of the laser beam, or it overloaded the optical beam and the operator forced the drone to land on the ground. Backwards in Batinda In 2003, taxi driver Harpreet Dev, while he was driving back home in northern India, got his car gear stuck in reverse. He could not get the car repaired and decided to drive it in reverse for reaching his home in Batinda. This inapt experience gave him the idea to get his car gearbox modified, having four reverse and only one forward gear. Tales of his backward driving taxi spread throughout the city. He got a special license to drive his unique taxi in other states of India. By 2005, he had become an expert, and he drove in reverse for about 350 miles from Rajasthan in India to Lahore in Pakistan. Geese Police a police station in China's Qingjiang province has started to use geese guards instead of dogs. Geese are extremely loud even while eating. A lone dog can be drugged through a piece of food, whereas a squad of geese make immense noise which would not provide a chance to the flabbergasted intruder. In 2013, a burglar tried to sneak into a police station in Xinjiang to steal back his confiscated motorcycle. During the darkness of night, he confidently drugged the two dogs and climbed over the wall. He met an unthinkable situation as he was received by an extremely aggressive squad of about 20 geese, shrieking loudly. Sleeping cops were woken up by the noise, and the intruder was immediately captured. Beaver Butt Juice A gland underneath the tail of a beaver secretes the sticky brown sludge which smells and tastes just like vanilla. 
About a century ago, people used this juice to flavor ice cream, cakes, and anything they fancied. The secretion is called castorium, which is produced from a mix of chemical compounds. Some of these work as pheromones. Beavers utilize it for marking their territory and to communicate among themselves. Extraction of castorium from beavers is quite a cumbersome process. For this purpose, you need to anesthetize a beaver and then you have to manually milk its castorium glands. Nowadays, due to the complications involved and impracticality of the process, castorium hardly accounts for a little of all vanilla flavoring. However, it can be found in alcoholic beverages and premium ice cream. The Great French Potato Ploy In mid-18th century, French people were gripped with the fear of potatoes. They suspected underground tubers to spread diseases and even a prime cause of leprosy. Despite having no evidence to back these suspicions, in 1748, the French parliament declared potatoes illegal. French army medical officer Antoine Augustin Parmentier, who was captured by the Prussians in the Seven Year War, changed his mind after remaining in a captivity where he was fed potatoes and enjoyed good health. After his release, Parmentier took upon the mission to remove illusions regarding the vegetable. His tireless efforts bore fruit when the French parliament lifted the ban on potatoes in 1772. However, the majority of people still feared potatoes. To eradicate this malice, Parmentier conceived a plan to popularize the maligned vegetable. He planted potatoes in the land he owned and deployed heavily armed guards so that people would consider it something worth stealing. After some time, people actually started stealing the potatoes and demand kept increasing steadily. Parmentier would be happy to know about the world-famous French fries nowadays. Zero Zebras the main attraction in a zoo is interesting animals. In 2009, Mara Land Zoo in Gaza lost its two prime attraction zebras, and it was expected to be devastating for the zoo. They did not have enough resources to arrange new zebras. Therefore, they hit a novel idea. Without wasting any time, they got hold of some black dye and painted the two white donkeys with dark stripes. Although zebras are usually one foot taller than donkeys, none of the visitors seemed to notice the anomaly. Fake zebras became extremely popular, and the public enjoyed their company too. Poop to Paper Professor Cho Jae Wang of Ulsan National Institute of Science and Technology in South Korea designed an energy-efficient system to meet the energy requirements of a building at the university campus. He made a toilet, installed it in the Science Walden Pavilion at the university. It has a vacuum pump that draws the feces into an underground bioreactor, where the feces is broken down and the waste is converted into methane, which is used to provide electricity to the complete building. Anyone selecting to poop on this high-tech toilet is eligible to get a certain amount of virtual currency called Google and can be used for purchasing things like books and coffee from the university shops. The scheme has become immensely popular and successful. Dear Dilemma during bitter winter months, northern parts of Finland are plunged into long spells of darkness that can extend up to 18 hours a day. It proves to be terrible for the reindeer breeders as they lose approximately 4,000 reindeer annually in traffic accidents, resulting from prolonged darkness. In 2014, some reindeer breeders collaborated to find a solution. Some tried to stick reflective tape to the deer, but it didn't work well. Others resorted to spraying reflective paint on the reindeer's skin, but it also remained ineffective. Eventually, they agreed to paint the antlers with reflective paint, which would reflect back car headlights. This strategy proved to be partially effective, as reindeer tend to shed their antlers annually. Green Tangerines One of the most astonishing prison escapes took place in 1986. A Frenchman, Michel Vaujou, was serving an 18-year sentence in the Parisian prison of La Santé. His wife, Nadine, hatched an innovative plan to get her husband freed. During her routine visit in March 1986, she informed Michel through a slip that she wanted him to be freed on 28th of May at 10 a.m. She planned to get him out by flying a helicopter over the prison. Therefore, she started learning flying and got a commercial helicopter flying license on 27th of May 1986. On the 28th of May, she flew a hired helicopter over the pre-agreed roof of the prison met Michelle there and took him out. She bought a toy pistol and painted it black to brandish it threateningly from the chopper, for handling the guards who might block the passage. Michael also got tangerines from the canteen and painted them grenade green. As per the plan, Nadine appeared on the roof of the prison, whereas Michelle collaborated with another prisoner named Pierre Hernandez. They managed to reach the rooftop, as scared guards didn't take the risk. 
Michelle reached the rooftop and climbed the hovering chopper and managed to escape, but sadly, he left Pierre behind. Monkey Mind Pong Elon Musk's latest project, Neuralink, is focused on strengthening the connection between man and machine by increasing the rate of information flow from the human brain to the computer. He's developed a computer chip that can be implanted into the human brain. It can precisely track brain activity and theoretically allow wireless interface with computers. The same has been tested on other primates. Monkeys have been able to play a game of Pong with their minds. Neuralink has released footage of such a monkey called Pager. Monkey can be seen initially playing the game with a joystick and subsequently without it, but using his mind as a chip implanted in the brain continue to send signals. Similarly, technology is expected to allow people to control their phones and computers just by thinking, and it may even help paralyzed individuals speak. Transparent Toilets These public toilets installed in Tokyo, Japan are really strange. With a stark departure from already built dark, smelly and dirty looking public toilets, Authorities decided to build transparent toilets. Despite being scary, these cubicles are made of smart glass, which cannot be seen through. On being unlocked, electricity passing through the panels makes the glass crystals transparent, whereas once the door is locked, the electric circuit is cut off, which makes the glass opaque. Well, the most positive aspect is that no one dares to leave filth behind after using the toilet. Surprising Swordsmanship in medieval Europe, it was not uncommon to hold the sword from its blade, and it can be seen in various depictions of that time. The practice was known as half-swording and was crucial to win the fight, especially if the opponent had a short sword and reached close enough, whereas you had a long sword. In such a case, you could hold your sword with one hand and the other free hand gives you more opportunity to retaliate effectively. In another technique, you can hold the blade with both hands and defend yourself against big strikes and also can bring the sword down like a hammer known as Mordor or Murder Stroke. It is a superb stroke against armor. This blade grabbing will not harm the hands. First of all, one has to push the palm into the side of the blade and then carefully wrap fingers around the blade and grip the sword while keeping space between the sharp edge and fingers. Similarly, one can hold the blade of one's opponent correctly. Waddling Warriors At the start of 2020, the Chinese government realized that the country was facing a looming disaster as the locust swarms had already crossed Eastern Africa, South Asia, and Pakistan. East African countries had expended $128 million while combating the locusts. Chinese planned to use the Duck Army to fight the menace, as they had done so about 20 years ago, back in 2000. In 2020, the Chinese government formed a Duck Legion of over 100,000 and deployed it along the China-Pakistan border for blocking 400 billion locusts ready to enter Chinese territory. Experts had advised the Chinese government to resort to using pesticides instead of depending on the ducks only. This time, ducks were to fight a war in temperatures soaring up to 47 degrees Celsius inside Pakistan, which could have been disastrous. Have you ever had some wacky idea that actually worked? Share with us in the comments section below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. We'll be back soon with more amazing stories for you guys. Until then, have a great time.